Byron, Byron normally does the videos, but I, I'm gonna do the videos uh, from now on because because I'm because I'm way better than Byron, and it's not um, okay. I got to do this fast. Um, you can do some burpees. Oh. Oh. Okay, maybe, maybe Brian can do the video. Who the heck was that guy? Trace Hopfailer? Cam, you're not allowed to hire anymore. So strong siders, after all that, let's learn how to jump right. Today's series, box jumps. When doing box jumps, your movement should replicate a squat. That means your ankles, knees, and hips are going into flexions with your hips moving behind your heels. As you land, you want to compress deeper into that squat. You are landing at the top of the movement, so the amount of force upon impact should be minimal, but your back should stay neutral through the whole movement. When you do land, make sure your heels get entirely on the box. You don't want to risk having your heel drop, especially if you have a lack of range of motion in the Achilles tendon and having that puppy rip. This is especially important when you're doing a bunch of repeat box jumps. You don't want to have that heel hanging off the edge, just creating a whole bunch of accumulated stress. That being said, jumping off the box creates so much more force upon landing on the ground than when you're landing on top of the box at the top of your jump. I suggest trying to step off at first until your body's ready to handle the impact from the acceleration of gravity. Make sure when you're taking off that you are still trying to create torque at the hips, meaning you're screwing your feet into the ground. Whatever cue works best for you for that, use it. You do not want to have those knees drop to a valgum like that as you take off. It is very common during explosive movements for all of a sudden this form that you developed in the squats to disappear. So take note and make sure you are practicing that same quality movement. The same goes for landing on the box. When you do land, you wanna make sure we keep those knees out over top of the ankles so that our hips, knees, and ankles feel happy upon compressing after the jump. Make sure you don't collapse inwards like so. Looking at broad jumps now, which are a little bit more related to deadlifts, upon landing we still want to look like we squat. We want to make sure those hips kick back, those knees bend, and those ankles bend. But we don't want to carry that momentum forward, causing ourselves to rock onto our toes, and potentially again putting our knees and ankles at risk. If you want to try mixing things up, or just want an extra challenge, try back lunge box jumps. This is a very unilateral exercise, even though both legs will be assisting you get up. Or you can try single leg box jumps. These are awkward at first, so take your time and significantly lower the box. As a final note, when you drive your knees up, keep the ankles underneath the knees as opposed to donkey kicking your butt. It's a lot harder to get your feet back underneath you if you do it that way. Um, uh, hey guys, it's, uh, it's Trace. Uh, uh, stay strong, strong siders, and also, uh, can I crash on your couch tonight? It's okay, I'm good.